Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am finally doing a video that I've been wanting to do for a couple of years now. As a lot of you guys know, I used to suffer from really bad acne. I talked about it a bit in my Draw My Life video. But basically that's the reason why I'm kind of into this holistic, healthy living lifestyle is because I was trying to heal my acne naturally. And I did, which is awesome. I'm so happy about it. However, it left me with a lot of acne scarring and a lot of self-confidence issues. But I get so many of you guys messaging me and sending me comments about how you're having problems with your skin and you're wondering how I healed my acne and acne scarring. And it honestly breaks my heart when I read those comments and messages because I know exactly what you guys are going through. And I'm gonna be honest, up until this point, I didn't really feel confident enough to do a video on it just because my acne my acne scarring were my biggest insecurity for so many years and also I knew that when I did a video on acne or acne scarring I was going to want to put before pictures and that was like my biggest nightmare but I think it's really really important to put before and after pictures because it gives people hope when they can actually see your skin and I know for me when I was going through really bad acne and my scarring and whatnot I always was searching on the internet like looking up hoping to see you know people that had similar skin to me not because I wanted them to have bad skin but I just wanted to you know feel like I wasn't alone I guess but I'm not scared anymore because this year I am working really really hard on being fearless just going after my dreams and not caring so much about what other people think just you know being my true authentic self and I have this amazing platform there's over 400,000 of you guys now and you guys just show me so much love and support so I just want to be able to help you guys out as much as I can and I mean even if I could just help a few of you with your skin that would be amazing because I know exactly what you're going through so today's video I'm just going to kind of do an overview of how I healed my acne scarring and I say acne scarring but a lot of it is how I healed my acne as well so it's just gonna be kind of a, a video all about my skin but yeah I really hope it helps you guys out I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I hope you enjoy the video So I'll start off with a little background information on my acne and acne scarring. This photo on the left was from when I first began to break out in cystic acne all over my face. Then the one on the right is from a couple years later when a lot of my acne had healed but I was left with occasional spots and a lot of scarring. The type of scars I dealt with were hyperpigmentation, which are those red marks that take forever to go away. And then since I had deep cystic acne, I also dealt with indented scars, mainly the rolling and boxcar variety on my cheekbone and temple area. So the first step to getting rid of acne scars is getting rid of acne because if you have new acne coming up, it's just going to keep creating new scars. So for me, I'm not 100% sure what was causing my acne, but I had high heavy metal toxicity levels, hormone imbalances, food sensitivities, and high stress and anxiety levels. So I think it was a combination of all those things. My body just couldn't take it and it reacted with acne. So doing things to heal the root problem of my acne was the first step to me healing my acne scars. There's so many different things that can cause acne and it can be quite frustrating trying to pinpoint what that is. So if you're really stuck and you can, I would suggest working with a holistic practitioner to help find and heal the root cause of your acne. I really believe healing starts from the inside and eating a healthy diet is the first step to any sort of healing. So for acne and acne scarring, I eat an anti-inflammatory diet rich in whole unprocessed foods. I try to eat intuitively and listen to what my body needs. I eat a lot of healthy fats to get my omega-3 fatty acids because that's going to help you have beautiful skin and hair. I eliminate refined sugars and processed foods from my diet because that's going to cause inflammation and and acne is inflammation of the skin and it'll also feed candida if you're dealing with candida related acne. 
And of course, I recommend eating probiotic rich foods because probiotics will not only help your digestion and the absorption of vitamins and minerals, but it's also going to boost your immune system, allowing your body to focus on healing itself and healing your skin. So some of my anti-inflammatory food staples would be turmeric, ginger, garlic, Ceylon cinnamon, rosemary, berries, shiitake mushrooms, organic leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, and tulsi and green tea. Then the next thing that really helped my skin was using natural skincare products. And this was actually a really positive thing that came out of my acne experience because I have a real passion for natural skincare and hair care products. So some of my top skincare tips for acne and acne scarring would be using high quality oils on the face. I know it can seem scary using oils on your face when you have acne, but trust me, if you are using cold pressed organic plant nut or seed oil, you will not break out and it'll do the opposite. It will help heal your acne and your acne scarring. My favorite way to wash my face is using the oil cleansing method. I do have a full video on the benefits and how I do the oil cleansing method, which I will link down below so you can check that out. And then I also love using moisturizers and serums that contain nourishing oils. I'm planning on making an in-depth video on my favorite skincare oils, but my top oils for healing acne and acne scarring would be tamanu oil, sea buckthorn seed oil, hemp oil, jojoba oil, rosehip seed oil, castor oil, and neem oil. There's a lot of great oils out there and you just need to find what works best for your skin type since everyone's skin is different. And then another skincare tip for acne and acne scarring is using Manuka honey masks. Raw honey has amazing benefits for the skin, but Manuka honey specifically has really helped me with healing my acne as well as fading my acne scars. It's antibacterial and anti-inflammatory to help heal breakouts, it exfoliates the skin, and it really helps lighten up hyperpigmentation with continuous use. And I also have a video on Manuka honey masks where I go a bit more in depth about the benefits and show you how to make a cinnamon honey mask, a turmeric honey mask, and a spirulina honey mask. All of them are wonderful for fading acne scars. So I'll link that down below and you can check that out if you'd like. And then for toning my skin, I like to use pure Bulgarian rose water or organic apple cider vinegar. Both are really great for fading red marks and evening out the skin tone. I also like to spray my face with rose water or other hydrosols throughout the day because I find they really calm the skin down. Next up, using ozonated oils really improved my skin as well. I cannot say enough good things about ozone for the skin. It's absolutely awesome. I used it a lot when I was dealing with active acne spots because it's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and very healing for the skin. And it also helped lighten my red marks a lot. I use Honey Colony's Nourish Ozonated Moisturizer, as well as the Ozonated Hemp Oil by Ozone Factory. I honestly cannot say enough good things about them. Ozonated oils can help with many other skin conditions and infections, so it's worth looking into. They're definitely a holy grail skincare item for me. And of course, I have to mention essential oils. Using high quality essential oils in my skincare routine really improved my acne and my hyperpigmentation. One of my favorite skincare products is an essential oil blend by Living Libations called Dew Dab. I've had really great results with it and I always keep a bottle on hand. It contains essential oils of Cape Chamomile, Rose Otto, Cypress, Frankincense, Immortal, and Lavender. All those essential oils are wonderful for healing acne, preventing scarring, and fading red marks. I use it straight on my skin for a spot treatment, and I also love adding it to my other oils, serums, and moisturizers. And a few other skincare tips would be don't pick at your skin, don't overwash your skin, don't use harsh products, and don't let your scars get you down. I know all too well how acne and acne scarring can bring down your self-confidence, but trust me, you can heal your skin and you can learn a lot along the way.
Healing indented acne scars is a bit more tricky. There are many different treatments you can try out. However, the one treatment that I did and had really good results with is medical skin needling, also known as collagen induction therapy. I did 11 rounds of medical skin needling treatments, five with a derma roller and six with a derma pen. And basically they use a roller or pen to create teeny punctures within the epidermis and dermis, sort of like getting acupuncture, but with a lot of needling and this encourages the skin's own natural healing response and leads to the production of collagen and elastin. So it breaks up fibrous and uneven scar tissue and stimulates the growth of new tissue, which will fill in the indented scars. The results weren't instantaneous because the collagen does need time to rebuild, so it does take several months to see a significant difference. The only reason I stopped going was because of the downtime. I wouldn't be able to work for about a week after because my skin would be bright red and it would scab over and peel off, so I just want to be home all the time, and also the price added up. But it's definitely worth it if you have indented scars, just make sure you find a really good clinic or practitioner, someone who's qualified and has really good reviews. And lastly, one of the biggest healers is time. So be patient and never give up. I really hope this video can help some of you out. Feel free to follow me on Instagram where I upload photos every single day. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!